The first rule about dovetail is you don't talk about dovetail. Welcome back. In this video I'd like to give you an overview of how I created the aprons for this table. Cut tenons by hand and routed a dado for the base of the table. There is a sliding dovetail on top but we'll get into that in the next video or later. I began by cross cutting my lumber to width and then ripping it to length. Then I make the stock flat and square with my pan planes. As I work on dimensioning this, of course, I'm making sure everything is square, comparative to itself. I also have to make sure that I'm keeping consistent width using my marking gauge. And using a straight edge, I'm making sure that this is straight. Being that it's five foot long, there could be a subtle curve to it that even my joiner plane would settle into. To ensure congruency between the pieces, I mate them up and take one final pass with my planes this way. I'm even going as far as to match my short stretchers with the long stretchers using that same technique. Once I'm dimensioned the stock, I begin laying out my tenons. Here you'll notice that I'm not measuring from the end from square, but from the edge. To check for center, I make a small scribe, then flip to the other side, and then adjust accordingly. I'm going to mark the top of the tenon here. Coming up with this measurement was a little bit of a pain in the butt because I know this offset, but I didn't know what it was plus the height of the dovetail. But I realized after I said that, the easiest way to figure this out is by very carefully lining up my apron with the leg and simply make a little mark that point against the edge of the hole there we are before making each cut I'm sure to create a knife wall I then clean up the saw marks and approach my line using my chisel in a pairing motion. And same thing here. This dimension of the tenon could either be sawn or split like this. The grain is splitting away from my line on this end so I could be fairly aggressive.
fine tune this with the router plane. And I'm being careful to index, constantly keep it indexed off this flat reference side of the apron. To help with insertion, I chamfer the edge of the tenon. Ooh, not good. Got too complacent on that one. Of course, that would happen on the one I filmed. Label this one A, label this leg A. for bruising, clean that up. And now it fits like a glove. Alright, now that we've got <clears throat> this piece cut, I actually want to double this up for st extra strength. So I'll take another board, run it across the shooting board, get it nice and square, line it up on one end. Nice and square, and then on the other end, Mark it with the marking knife very carefully and precisely. And use that to cut it to length. And then these two pieces can be glued together. When I go to make the same apron for the other short end of the table, I'm going to use this piece as my reference to mark its overall length. That way I can assure that they're exactly the same length. I'm going to glue these two pieces together in a moment here, but before I was fighting the clock, I wanted to show you when it comes time to glue these up, I want to index the shoulder of this dovetail with the top of this board. Anything over here, I can plane flat later. This, that's going to stay the way that it is. I suppose I can get one of these guys in there, but I'd really rather not. So yeah, too cold in the shop. I gotta take this inside, glue it up on the countertop, and trust my life to a piece of wax paper. You know, so my wife doesn't kill me. And finally, I cut a dado for the plywood bottom of this table using my combination plane. Once again, I'm using that top shoulder as the reference point for my fence. And even though I have a depth stop on my plane, I double check the minimum depth using my combination square. So that's our aprons. 
two for the short sides, two for the long sides. Uh, join me back in a couple weeks when we go over the next step in the building this table. And hey, if you dislike this video or liked it, let me know why in the comments below.